Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is my next weekly Shop My Stash video. Bit of an update on last week's selection and then choosing some makeup for the next week. I'm a couple of days late getting this up but you know that's just life isn't it? So I hope you're all doing well. I've had a, a reasonable week with my selection although I think I was maybe a little bit over the top with some of them so I'm going to pull it back a little bit next week. I haven't managed to try everything from last week's selection so I will be rolling a few things over so I'm just gonna whiz on as fast as I can because last week's video was really long um so I apologize it was coming on for an hour what I will do is um I will put a timestamp in the um description box down below and I'll try and do a pinned comment as well so that um I'm just gonna chat about last week's selection and what I've liked and what I haven't um just now but then I'll put a timestamp in for when I skip ahead to making this week's selection. So if you just want to see what I've chosen then have a look down there and honestly by all means just skip straight ahead. There will be a timestamp. It then it works. It's so clever. You just click it, it'll take you straight onto my selection. So without further ado, let's get on to this. Um this is going to be in no particular order, it's just as I come to it. I'm going to start off with something I absolutely love. This is a bit of a weird angle for me. Let me just try and sort this out a bit better. That's slightly better. Um, let me bring you down. I'm just sat down. It's been a long day. I have got, as usual, I've got my brew, my cup of tea and my little Miss Naughty mug. Yorkshire tea gold. Yorkshire gold. Right then. So this was amazing. It is from... Boutonic Beauty is a blusher. It says here rose infused blush, fancy bloom blush, and it is in the shade something. Let's have a look. Oh, in fantasy bloom. It is honestly one of the nicest blushes. It reminds me of, you know, I had the um the beauty crop one, the was it Orion? And it was a split pan duo one which we got in glossy box well this is very similar it is a gorgeous shimmery blush and the shade is so nice i'll apologize now the lighting is shocking but it's dark it's late at night and it's just what it is i worry that this is going to get hard pan but i have used it every day and it is a beautiful shimmery coral and i love it it looks so nice on the skin so yeah, that is going to be getting kept. And this is going to be like probably one of my favourites. It would be a go-to, I think. Might pop that into a project next year to do. But yes, yeah, so we love that. So we're keeping that. Um, I haven't used my concealer yet, which was the Rimmel Match Perfection. So I'm going to roll that over to this week. I haven't used the Hangover Hair Elixir either. So I'm going to use that this weekend, hopefully. Um. And I haven't used the sponge, the beauty blender. I just, um, I didn't go out last week in the end. Do you remember when I made my selection? I was going to be going out with my husband into York. But I honestly just didn't feel well at all last week. And right up until yesterday, I didn't feel well. So we cancelled our meal and our night out last Saturday. So I didn't use as much makeup last week. Anyway, I'm feeling... From today, I am feeling a little bit better, actually. Not as breathless, so that's good. So we're going to be going out for something to eat tomorrow night after work. So, yeah, um, a few of these things will come in handy for that. So I will try and give this a go for next week. This I absolutely love, and it is the Illamasqua Beyond Veil. I've tried the regular one, but this is the glowy one. And I hadn't realised there's not that much left in it, and I've used it every day. <laughs> I just love it. Um, this will definitely get put into a project to finish off. There's only a tiny amount in, but it is really nice. Um, gorgeous on the skin. Um, it has got a bit of a fragrance, but I love it. So yeah, I'm glad I've tried that. I'll get packed away for now, but I'll pull that out again in another time. This incredible um, bronzer from Real Hair was okay. It Oh, it's a bit crumbly, a bit powdery. It's a little bit deeper on my skin than the uh, the Wonder Beauty bronzer I've been using. A, a little slightly cooler, I think, on my skin tone. It looks quite a warm bronze, but I don't know. It looks a little bit muddy on my skin, but it was okay. I'll definitely keep it in. I think it'd be one that I'll try and hit pan on in the future, and then I'll sort of reconsider. But it has got, like, a little mirror and things. Hello. Where are you? Hi. Um. So, yeah, it was nice. 
This was a little perfume that I tried, which was Gabrielle from Chanel. Really, really lovely. I've used that a few times. Um, yeah, and it's nice. The only thing is, it's you have to just take this out and then just dab it on, which is a bit annoying. But it's a really beautiful fragrance. So I'm pleased that I've tried that. So this was a mood changing ph color lip balmy thing it went on a really nice like pinky shade and actually it was really nice and i put it on top of which lipstick was it i put it on top of a lipstick that seemed a little bit brown was it this one um i used the gorgeous and i think it was a little bit dark so i put it on blotted it then put the balm on top and it looked so nice um, this was really nice. I still need to get a picture of this on my Instagram because it is just like the greatest packaging like with a little cheeseburger inside. So it was like quite a dark brown, but it was a really nice formula. So I'm definitely going to keep that. It was something a bit different for me. It's not my normal colour, but I did enjoy it. So yeah, those two will be staying in my collection. I uh, used the NYX gloss. There's not that much left of it. It was the butter gloss in tiramisu. Really lovely colour. Again, that's something that will probably go into a future project. Really nice. Now, surprisingly, I thought I'd be decluttering this, but I'm not. It is in number seven um, eyeshadow, little mini single in the shade. What is it in? I think I struggled last time. Oh, so it's from Cappuccino. Oh, it's from the Cappuccino Trio. That's what it says. I thought it said Cappuccino Tea. Try to get it to focus. So it's a cappuccino trio. There we go. They do nice little trios. And this is such a great colour. A really quick, easy, on-the-go shade. Beautiful for work. Quite sort of bronzy. And it's. I think it'll probably suit most eye colours and most complexions. It was really, really nice. Perfect for this time of year. Super easy to wear. So I'm going to keep that single. I didn't think I'd keep it, but I have. Still haven't tried the Wonder Balm. So that rolls over surprisingly this was gorgeous i'm not even a red lipstick wearer but it was the mac the finish was really really nice it's in the shade cockney and it is what's their lipstick for this one the luster lipstick the color looks really scary but actually it's quite balm like and was just you can just see there how beautiful and comfortable it is really nice to wear so that is definitely gonna be a red that i keep um, can I even believe I'm saying that? <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to having that. At least now I know if I want like a sort of ready type lipstick, I've got something that I like. Didn't try this. This was the Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Colour. It had gone a bit funky, I think. I'm just wondering if it's sort of settled down now it's been sat. I'm going to give it a shake. It looked a bit clumpy last week and everyone was saying it shouldn't be like that. Let me give it a bit of a mix around. Um, do you know what? I might actually declutter that because someone was saying it should be a lot more liquid and as you can see this is it's a bit yeah I'm going to declutter I don't even think I'd ever wear that colour if I'm honest or should I at least try it okay I'm going to roll it over I'm going to try it once and see I think that's the fairest thing isn't it so I'll keep hold of that one to next week. That's rolled over. I haven't tried my brow pencil, but I did snap off the sort of like bloom kind of bit. So it feels like it should be okay. So I'll give that a go tomorrow night when I'm going out and see what I think. Likewise, I need to roll over the brow fiber because I didn't use that because I didn't go out last weekend. Oh my gosh, I haven't used the liquid liner from Illa Masca. I think I used this once. Can't really remember what it was like. So I'm going to roll that over too. I did get very carried away last week. I don't think I've used the Becca highlighter. Or maybe I did right at the beginning of the week, but I can't remember what I thought of it. I think it was really glittery, actually. I think I did use it. And it was a... Oh, no, maybe I never. That's not glittery. It's shimmery. Oh, my word, guys. Right, that's staying. <laughs> um, I did use this, and this was the Volume Stretch Mascara from Chanel. This has a really nice wand. I'd be interested in trying the full size of this, actually. 
and um, it was really nice to use on my short stubby lashes. There is a bit left over, so I'm going to try and um, I'll just pop that into my drawer for ones that I like that I want to finish. So yeah, that was um, it was nice. This was gorgeous. So this was the smoothie stick, and I was like saying, oh, if you know what brand it is, let me know. Quite a few of you did let me know, but it's actually there. It is the Beauty Crop. And it's just a, a shame. This came snapped when I got it in my box. And so if I roll it up, it is snapped. However, if I always want to put on like, my lipstick of the day when I first get ready to go out um, for work, it is such a lovely colour. I really, really love it. So I'm keeping it even though it's broken. It's honestly so comfortable to wear and much browner than what I would normally use. But I really, really enjoyed it. I think I'm doing okay for time. I think I'm getting a bit better at this. Um, black liner from Marc Jacobs. I used this once and I don't think it was as nice as I remember. So I don't know if it's drying out a bit. And it seems thicker than what I remember as well. I mean, it was fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to keep on using it in case it kind of softens up. Maybe I need to warm it up. It is beautiful. And then um, there's not that much in here, I don't think. This is one that I could probably get finished in a project. And I don't want to declutter it because I really like Marc Jacobs and you can't get it anymore. And I'll all regret it as soon as it's gone. So I'm going to just hang on to that for now. It'll go back in my collection. Maybe come out in a project pan next year, actually. I used this and it's meant to be a bronzer. And to be honest, it just didn't work for me. If anything, I swirled it around. I thought, can I use that as a bit of a blush between the two? It didn't really work kind of like a highlighter not really a nice shadow not really a bronzer but i don't know i might keep hold of it and it's definitely got um it's got a proper ridge actually between the two but it's just too small to do anything with aren't they but i don't hate it so i'll hold on to it but again something i maybe have to try and pan at some point this was okay um i use this as a highlight it's meant to be an eyeshadow it was all right, you know. I mean, I'll probably end up decluttering it, but it's a really smooth formula, and look at that payoff. I mean, it's cracking. It might be nice even if you use it as a base and then put another colour on the top. Um, I don't know. But um, I'm certainly going to hang on to it. It's pigmented, and it, it's fine. Um, are we nearly there? Oh, heck, I've just knocked everything off. Good grief. I haven't used this setting spray, so I'll roll that over and I'll use it tomorrow. I need to know if I like this or not because I have got another one in my collection. I did use the eye primer and I really liked it. So I will um, hang on to that and pop that into my like every make everyday makeup drawer. Just things that I'll sort of be using on the daily that don't need to get rolled in and out of my projects. I've only got, I think, one or two eyeshadow primers and it's not something I normally use so yeah I'll hang on to that let me have a quick slurp of my tea so the eyeshadow palette was actually quite nice it's from Steve Laurent I wasn't expecting to like it but it was nice enough so those are the shadows I can see I've used quite a few I've used this one this 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 I think I used a couple of the mattes as well and to be honest it was okay. I, it wasn't dreadful at all. You can see I've got quite a bit of disturbance on the pans. So yeah, I've tried it. I'll keep it for now. As I start going through all my eyeshadow palettes, I'll have a better idea about what I really like, what I've got duplicate shades of in similar palettes and things, and then we can go from there. I have not used the Glowish from Huda, so that's going to roll over to next week. And then... This was the Luminous Silk. So I finished off that shade there. And I haven't used the others, but I'll just pop this into my collection. But you guys, you know how I told you I really, really loved it. Look what happened. So that was my little sample. And this is why you should try your samples. I have ordered the full size. Um, I went on the, they've got like a shade matcher. So you can match it to other foundation shades and it's meant to come up with a good shade so the one i used in here i did say last week it was 55 which was wrong it was actually 5.5 that's the shade i used last week when I, I tried this but when i went on i matched it to my where is it 
So I did a shade match to this. This is what I normally wear, is the 110. This is what I wear in winter, which is the Rose Vanilla in the Infallible Fresh Wear. So I matched it to that and it said that I should be 5.25, not 5.5, .5, which maybe is about right because that's probably more of my winter colour. So I'm really excited. I'm going to wear this tomorrow and I'll feed back next week and let you know what it was like. But yeah, all this from a little tiny free sachet. And um, look, I haven't even tried it yet. Look at that. Is it not beautiful? I, I never buy high-end makeup at all. Um, normally I just get drugstore foundation so I'm really excited to have this and I really enjoyed it on my skin I just thought it was so pretty and really youthful really lovely so yeah I'm delighted with this I've just realized there's something I was wanting to show you and I don't know where it is is that something I've got on the floor I need to just find a product guys to tell you about but anyway yeah I'm really excited about this I got it from look fantastic they're the cheapest place like they're about 10 12 pounds cheaper than anywhere else so yeah a really good deal i think it was about 30, 33 pounds i think it's meant to be 40 odd pounds um but anyway I'm, I'm super excited to have it now i must have knocked a product on the floor bear me one second i did feel something i think i knocked something and i felt it roll around talk amongst yourself oh here it is here it is, here it is. This is a revelation, guys. I'm so glad I found it because, are you there still? As you know, I am not a face powder wearer. And I just think it makes me look older. It makes my skin look really wrinkly, which it is, but it accentuates the wrinkles. Uh, as you know, I pulled this out, not last week, the week before. And I am obsessed. I found a face powder I can wear. It is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This is magic. It is absolute magic. It does not make your wrinkles look bigger. If anything, I think it probably disguises them a bit. It makes your skin super smooth. It's a great way of like setting your foundation ready for your um, powder face products like your bronzer and your blusher and your highlighter. I am obsessed. It, honestly, I'm going to buy this in the full size once I've finished it. It is really, really fine. I mean, it is so fine. You can just, it just, you put it on, it feels like water on the skin. It's so weird. It's beautiful. Now, it is translucent, but I feel it does probably lift your skin tone slightly. I think it makes it fractionally lighter, if I'm honest. But, um, I love it. It says it's colourless. I think it's got a, a slight, I think it does, like I say, lighten it a little bit, but I love it. Absolutely love it. It's amazing. This is going to be staying in my everyday makeup bag. It's just fabulous. Right, then I think that is everything for now. So what I'm going to do is I'll stop it here and then we're going to start doing the makeup selection. So I will see you back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so here we are, primer time. I'm just trying to see if there's something in here that I haven't used yet. Ooh, maybe that. So a few things as well that I have, and there's probably a few things that are probably need to be out. But is this something I've used recently? Oh, I did. I had that before. I absolutely loved it and I finished it. But we'll put that away for now. I don't want that one. Although I do love it. I think I'm going to choose. I've got quite a few in here that are older. This one's probably going to come out soon. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to choose this foundation primer from Laura Mercier. I've had this a long time, I think. And I can't even remember what it is like. But I'm assuming... It's a glowy one. Ooh, it's, it's crusted over a bit. <laughs> uh, it's a good way of checking if I want it in still. Oh, oh, it's not what I thought it would be like. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll give that one a little go. So yeah, that is that. Again, po apologies for the lighting tonight. Right, guys, we've got some more face products, base products. Um, I don't need a setting spray because I have got a setting spray already. Um, 
let's have a look foundation my gosh that is <laughs> what color is that that is so pale what possessed me to buy that i don't know but that can wait till february when i'm super white let's try this which is the revlon it's no longer new <laughs> Um, photo ready candid in shade one two zero. It's a natural finish, anti pollution, in the shade buff chamois. Okay, we'll give that a go. Can't even remember what this is like. I've had it ages. Um, we'll see if I like it. If it's gone off, if it's okay, we'll give that a bash. And then I'm going to get another powder since like I'm on a bit of a powder roll, and I found one that I like. So now I can compare everything to that, and then if it's no good. Then I will um, declutter or pass along. Let's have a look. I think virtually everything I have is Laura Mercier. <laughs> um, including this. Uh, let's do this. This looks light. Let's have a look inside. Oh, gosh. That actually looks really similar to the By Terry, doesn't it? Let me just see what that feels like in comparison. Oh, do you know what? That feels super smooth. I'm going to give this a go. So this is the Laura Mercier. Oops, sorry about that. It is a secret brightening powder. Oh, for under eyes. Okay, well, I'll try it on my under eyes, but I might also try it on the whole of my face because it is pretty big and it feels pretty similar, actually, to the By Terry. So I'm going to just do that as a comparison. Um, right, that's everything in that drawer. We don't need setting sprays. Right, then we've got blushes and bronzers. So I need both. And oh, as I say, last month, I, last month, last week, I absolutely loved my blusher. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything here again that I haven't really tried. I don't want a cream blush. I want a powder blush. Here's another Boutonique Beauty one. Oops, heck, with a broken lid. Now, that's not shimmery, though, but it might make me use my highlighters a little bit more if it's not a shimmery blush. Is it a bit too peachy? Is it a bit too summery? Let's see what else it is. Um, oh, my gosh, it's ages since I've used this. This is a Karl Lagerfeld one. In is my shade on there? Don't know. Let's have a look. I think I got this in. I can't remember. Was it maybe glossy box? Um. Oh, that's more like it's. Oh, is it a bit too light? But you never. I'm never happy, am I? I'm gonna give that one a go and see. So it's a baked one. Try that bronzer. Ooh. Let's see. I don't have that many bronzers actually now. I love this one down here, but I'm going to save that for another time. I want to try a few others. We will do this one, which is the Kind of Beauty Kind Bronze in the shade Blissful Bronze. It looks quite like the Physician Formula one, don't you think? Um, feels nice. Yeah, looks okay. So we'll give that one a go. I'm really pleased. I, I love, I'm really loving um, picking my products every week. It's so nice. I'm really getting through them now. So, yeah, I feel like I'm getting there slowly. Okay, highlighters. So, I have got, haven't I already? I've got a, um, like, my Becca one here. So, I'm not going to choose a liquid highlighter because I've got that already. So, let's have a look and I've got so many highlighters. They, they love giving you highlighters, don't they, in um, beauty boxes and things. I'm just trying to see if there's anything here I've maybe not used yet. Or not used for a long time. Oh, is that two of those? Ah, so I've got two Ciartes. Are they the same? Starburst. Okay, so maybe I should try this and then if I like it, I'll keep one and give one. I'll, either way, I'll be able to reduce one out of my collection because I don't need two. Let's have a look. I like quite a lot of the Ciate products. Oh, heck, my old knees. I keep dropping things on the floor tonight. 
Okay, so I've tried that. It's quite a golden highlight. I'm not always into... Ooh, it's very golden. I'm going to do that, and I might get a, like a more champagne-y one as well, which is a bit more my groove. Is that cheating? I don't think... Yeah, I'm going to get another one. I can, I can make my own rules, can't I? I can choose what I like. What's the Lamasca? Oh, this might be good. Oh, that's golden. Oh, my word. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, mind you. Do you know what? Maybe I should just stick with that and just do one. I can work my way through, Kai. But to be fair, loads of them are quite golden, all of them. Now, where is... Uh, I'll tell you, I'll have a few, won't I? My maybe I'll pull a face palette one out to try over a few weeks. Or maybe I'll do that in the first week of the month. I can pull a face palette out to keep him for the full month and then pull individual ones out in between. That's what I'll do. Right, I'll pack away highlighters. I've got one and one is more than enough. Got my face palettes out just in case there's something I desperately want. But to be honest, I don't know. I mean, maybe get a highlighter palette. See, this is maybe something I could try over a month, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. I've got so many palettes, which is just a bit silly, really. Um, I was thinking about one in particular. Which was it? Where is it? I can't find it. I'm sure I've got a highlighter palette. I think it's an Ardair palette. And it's... I don't know where it... Ah, here it is. Because remember I had the brow gel last week and I said it's from Ardair. Now this palette I used to really love. Um, I used to use this quite a lot actually. It's ages since I've used it and you can hardly even tell I've used it. But I really like it because you can see there sort of like one's more golden and one's a bit more icy. So that's a really nice little palette. But I'm not going to use it today. I don't know why I got this out. I should just pack it away. <laughs> I don't need anything else do I out this week. It's going, it's going. So we've got single shadows. I won't be using any of my loose shadows. I'm enjoying trying my singles actually. So what I'm going to do is we will pick out a single shadow. Maybe I should go with all these old ones that I think I want to get rid of first. I mean, what's going to be in that mind? This looks like quite a nice colour. Okay, let's pick up this one. It is a from L'Oreal. Is it? Yep. Yeah. It is a chrome shine in the shade brown, late brown lame, brown lame, and I think it's actually a really nice shade. So that's it there. I do like. You can see I kind of like my neutrals, bronzes, browns shimmers <laughs> um so we'll give that one a little go this week i know i like it but at least it gets it out of here into there and i'm gonna choose another one from here even though i've got like my little um this one i'm gonna just choose something else as well because why not let's have a look or will i have i got enough I've probably got enough, haven't I? Probably. What's this? Out of your shell. What on earth is that? Oh, that'd be a great in the corner. Or a base, maybe. Okay, maybe I don't know. I'm not going to get any more. That's silly. I don't need any more. Or do I? <laughs> No, I need to use what I've already got because it's going to be a short week. I'm going to try and film again on Tuesday next week. So obviously it's Thursday night tonight. So technically this is only for five days. Hmm, I need to remember that. Okay, so here's my eyeliners. Now I've got a liquid liner already. I just thought, where was my eyeliner from last week? Did I not choose? Oh, I had my Marc Jacobs liner, didn't I? Yeah, so I won't choose a liquid liner because I've got my Illamasqua one carried over. But... I do need a regular liner. Just trying to see what I've got here. What's this? Ooh, it's like a, a metallic-y brown. I'm going to try that. I just saw it then, just jumping up at me. Okay, so this is a Lord and Berry in the shade Antique Bronze Eye Pencil. 
And that is it there. I think that is really nice. So I don't know if you can see that it's metallic. Maybe try it here. Put a bit more. It's got a slight, but ever such a slight metallic -y edge. But it's lovely and soft. And I do like a brown pencil. So yeah, we'll give that one a go. I haven't tried that at all yet. Um, no liner, um, no liquid one, as I say, because I just don't need it. Brows and mascaras. So I don't need any... I've got brow fibre. I wonder if I need to try a clear gel. I could get a clear gel as well, couldn't I? Okay. Um, so what clear ones I've got? That. Got that. Fair, I haven't got that many clear things. Pencils. Okay, not too many brown products. Um, oh, this is just disgusting. <laughs> um, I have tried both of these. Have I tried this model co one? I can't remember. Let's have a look. I don't think I have. So let's give this a go. It's just a model co clear brow gel. I just need another little mascara. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna go for things that I think are needing to be finished off because I've got my um which one is it? My iconic London which one, which is a full size, which I'm using just now. And I've got that little Chanel one, which I'm finishing off, which will probably be done very soon. This could probably be a potential declutter. It is a Next Black Mascara. I'm picking this because I think it's probably going to be garbage. <laughs> it isn't fair to say that. I've never tried it, but we'll give it a go. Um, Yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm picking this with a view of potentially decluttering it. Which isn't a bad reason to pick something, actually. It saves it being sat in my collection. Okay, we're on to lips. I've got three drawers of lip products coming up. I will try and be a bit more sensible. Um, I have got that liquid lipstick from MAC, which is carrying over. So, let's have a little look in here. Got pencils and things in this one i'm not a massive pencil user to be honest but maybe i should overlining is quite the thing isn't it um let's oh now this was one that i got in i think we got this in discovered beauty and it's a bit of a, a strange thing we've got Oh, no, it's not a strange thing. This is like a little pencil here, a little wind-up, not a pencil, little mini lipstick. Oh, I like that. I haven't tried this yet. What's on the other side? I think it was something... Oh, what was it? What's there? I'm sure there was something... Oh, there we go. That's it. It's like a little smudgy thing, which I didn't quite get. Oh, that's it. You stick it in there. That's it. I knew it was something... And it's got product in the base. Can you see? Let me just bring you over to the light, my cuppa. You see this product in there? It's the strangest thing. And then this is like the applicator. I don't quite get it, but we'll give it a go and I'll let you know what I think of it. So it's like on a spring. It's spring loaded. And I think when you take it out, it's pre... It's got the colour already on it. That's right. And then you screw it on, ready for next time. And then you've got your little wind-up lipstick that side. That was a terrible explanation. I feel like I should refilm that bit, but I am going to. So it's Gokos, Gokos, number six, lip colour. I'm totally clueless about this brand. I have no idea. We've got like a little eyeshadow thing as well. So I'll maybe try and pick that next week and we can try that out. So yeah, we'll give this a go. I want a gloss. I do love a gloss. Um, let's see if there's something in here I haven't picked. For a long time. Well, let's get this. Is it a bit too pink? A lot of my makeup now is a bit more sort of browny, you know, so maybe something a bit more peachy. Okay, let's try this. Maybe as a topper. Revolution in the shade. Come on, guys, focus. In waiting, it says. 
I've had this for years. Okay, so we'll give it a go. It looks like it should be quite a nice colour or maybe a nice topper. It looks like a nice topper. Oh, I quite like the look of that. But even the nice daytime colour, it's got a little bit of a, a shift to it as well. A bit of a pinky shift, but it's peachy. <laughs> Very descriptive. I like the look of that. So more like bullety type lipsticks. I'm just wondering if I should pick one that I think I won't like. Just again, as a way of getting it out of my collection. Is this potentially the way forward for me? Just picking things. And that way I can just use them once and I don't get sidetracked into using them. What's this? This is a new look <laughs> lipstick. Oh, it doesn't look too bad though, to be fair. Well, it, it feels all right and the colour looks okay. All right, we'll give that one a go. I don't know if that's had a, if I've used that as a topper on top of something else. Looks like I've used it, but I don't really remember ever using that. So that's interesting. Um, we'll give that a go as my bullet. Okay, so we've got balms and liquid lips. Now, I do have that red liquid lip, but I'd like to maybe try a neutral one. I'm going to get... Now, I know that I used to really enjoy this, and it is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. This is maybe something I can pop underneath my lip gloss when I go out on Saturday. Plus, I know what it used to be like, so I can see if it's still okay or if it needs to be decluttered. I need to be picking a lot of lip colours, I think, just because I've got so many. And then, balm-wise, oh, what's this? Okay, Soap Folk Juniper Berry Organic Lip Balm. This has definitely been opened. Mm. Is that... I think, actually, guys, that needs to be decluttered. It is pretty dry, so I'm going to declutter that. That's a success. <laughs> um, let's try this one. FFS Beauty Original Lip Balm. Please be okay. Okay, that one feels like it should be fine. So I'm going to give that one a little go and let you know this one was gifted to me kindly. And yes. So eyeshadows next. I'm just going to choose one little palette. Um, let's see. That's what I've already had that, didn't I, the other week? Is this what I just had last week? <laughs> I think it is. Oh, that's totally ridiculous. I can't pick that up yet, can I? Yeah, I've just had that one, pretty sure of it. I don't know if to get one of my bigger palettes or just to get, like, work my way through these little ones. I honestly can't even remember half of what we've got. What's this? Oh, Mellow. Now, I love Mellow. I haven't used this yet. Let's see what's in... I can't remember what this looks like. Obviously, I've got my um, Pan That Palettes going on, Pan in Every Palette, but... You know, I just want to, like, keep pulling palettes out that I want to use as well. So this is a little, ooh, very sort of Charlotte Tilbury-esque. Is it different enough to what I've got in my pan and every palette is the question. I'm not sure if that's what I want to use. So I'm going to put that on one side. Let's see what have we got. It's quite pretty, isn't it, as well? I've got quite a few other palettes that I do want to use, but I'm ah, I've just dropped everything. Um, I'd quite like to try something I haven't used before. Ooh, many. So if I get this out, I'm not going to choose any of my other pan that palettes. That's the, I think. I think this one's a really nice one. Oh, guys, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? I'm not going to bring that in this week. It's just I've never even swatched it, I don't think. I ain't bringing that in yet. I'm going to save that for a day when I can just like totally appreciate it properly. So pretty. Okay, what's this sleek one? I'm so indecisive, aren't I? I mean, I should probably just go with that other little one there. Okay. Interesting. A nice mix of colours. But again, no, I'm going to go with my first choice. I'm going to go with that Mellow because there's only four little shades. I can't get too distracted. Um, so I think that's probably the best idea for me. So, yeah, we'll go with that. 
Um, what do I need now? Oh, I'm just going to get some perfume. Right, I have decided to pick up this little miniature here. I've had this a while, and this is Versace Bright Crystal. So this, it's about just over half full. So yeah, well, um, give that a little go. I can't remember what that's like. I bought that, well, I got it free. It was a gift with purchase years ago from Superdrug, I think I got something from there. Um, is that everything? I'm not gonna bring any hair products. Right, let's pull it all back together. Okay, so here is like the little roundup of everything that we have got for the next, well, it's meant to be the week, but to be fair, it's the next five days, but it's fine. So starting off with a primer, hopefully I'll get everything. I'm going to try and do it in the order that I would apply it on my face. I think that makes the most sense, but hopefully I've got it right. So we have got the, oh, the light is bad. Let me try and see, does this help? I think it makes it worse. I'm going to bring you back over this way. I think that's a wee bit better. So yeah, we have got the foundation primer from Laura Mercier. Then foundation-wise, we have got the um, well, the glowish carrying over kind of whatever it is, face brightener, glowy tint thing. Um, we've also got the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. We have the, I don't know if any of these will match, the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. We've got the Laura Mercier Powder. This is terrible lighting. So this is the face powder, but it's meant to be the under eye setting powder, isn't it? Brightening powder, but I'm gonna use that as a face powder and compare it to the By Terry. We have the bum -ba -dee, bum -ba -dee, bum bronzer is the Kinder Beauty Bronze. Looks quite nice, actually. Blusher. This is so hard to find things when you're looking for it. We have got the Karl Lagerfeld Blush. And then highlighter, we have got the Glow To Highlighter from Ciate. It's just quite golden, shimmery, duda. Eyes, we have got this single shadow, which looks really nice from L'Oreal. That was it there. Really lovely coppery shade. I'm looking forward to using that, actually. We've also got the Carryover Spotlight highlighter pencil which i'll probably use as an inner corner and that is an ico and it won't there we go focus now okay we've got the lovely little palette from mella just to remind you of these i haven't swatched these colors actually so that's them there let's have a look we have got where can we put this one, two, three, try and avoid them. Okay, they're very autumnal shades. Um, don't know if they're a bit too coppery for me. We will see. We'll give it a go and see. But they look really nice. And I do love Miller products. As I say, I've tried them a lot in the past. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, is there any more eyeshadows on there? I don't think so. So we've got the brow pencil, which was carried forward from last week. Nothing wants to focus. This was a Delilah. I will film this in the daytime next week, guys. Honestly, I'm so sorry. That's Delilah. We have got the brow fiber from Ardair. Then we've got the clear brow gel from Model Co. The packaging on this looks super cheap, I thought, when I looked at that, but we'll see what it's like. We've got a liquid liner from Illamasqua, which I still haven't tried from last week. That's rolling over. And where are we? A mascara from Next. We'll see what that's like. Not holding out any hope for that one. And then this looks so pretty. This was the eye pencil in Antique Bronze. 
which was there. Really lovely. I'm looking forward to using that actually quite a bit. Uh, oh, I forgot. We have got the the Becca. Sort of primey, highlighter, shimmery, something or other. You'll get a better rundown next week in the daylight. But yeah, it's like a little spotlight thing. I don't know whether I'll mix it in with my foundation or what I'm going to quite do with it. But yeah, there we go. Um, where are we now? Okay, so we have got the complexion sponge from So Eco, which looks really nice. I really must get that opened up this week. Moving on to lip products. We've got the balm. I do like to put a lip balm on actually when I'm doing my base and everything when I'm getting ready. So we'll give that one a go by FFS Beauty um, Original Lip Balm. Looks nice. And then we've got a bit of a mishmash here. I realised I didn't actually pick out a lip pencil after all that um, <laughs> shenanigans, but it's fine. We have got this new look lipstick. Such a surprise. That is it there. And it looks like it's going to be a really lovely creamy formula. So I'm pleased about that. So we'll give that a go. See how well it lasts on the lips if I like it in reality. Because when you swatch it on your hand is one thing. When you actually put it on your face is often quite another. So we'll give that a go. We've got this really weird little duo combo lip colour. But the colours look really nice. It's just beautiful. Like plummy mauvey nude which i really like so we've got their little dipstick one i don't know what to call it on that side and then like you wind up cream shadow on that cream lipstick not shadow got my huda liquid lip i'll just do a quick swatch of this hopefully it's still okay this is a really like liquidy consistency if i remember right it dries very fast but it's a really gorgeous browning nude and I think that paired with this, once that's dry, doing this on top as a topper. Is that not beautiful? I think that'd be really nice. That's the Revolution in Waiting gloss. Lovely, lovely kind of like peachy, shimmery gloss. Bit of a golden hue to it as well. So I think that'd be really nice. I have still got this liquid lip from MAC to use up. This red, we'll see, won't we? I'm not holding my breath. And then we've got the little perfume from Versace. Still got the hair elixir from Hangover. So the Hangover hair elixir from We Are Paradox. And then still need to try this properly, the Percy M. Reed Wonder Balm. So my lovely, that is everything I think rolling over for this week. So yeah. Hopefully it's not been too long. I'll know once I start putting all the clips together. I think it's quicker than last week. Really, really sorry about the lighting situation. Maybe I should have done it downstairs with my big ring light. But, you know, my makeup's up here, so it's just easier. But I will try and film in the daylight next week. Thank you, as always, for watching. Let me know if you've tried anything, if you love anything. And don't forget, this is amazing. If you've got it in your collection lots of you would have had this from boxes and things if you've got it give it a go it's fab right guys i'll see you all in my next video Mwah. take care for now guys bye